So this function, we're given a sine or a cosine graph, and we're supposed to get some properties from it. We're gonna look at the amplitude first. Now on this graph, the highest point is here, the lowest point is here, and therefore the total uh, range will be two, because it goes from negative two to zero. This is the normal amount that a cosine or sine function has in the range in the output. You, normally it goes negative one to one. Uh, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, this one goes from negative two to, to zero, which is a total height of two. Now, the amplitude, the normal cosine sine function has amplitude of one. This function has the same amplitude, it's just shifted down. So this amplitude is gonna be one. So again, it's not the total, uh, it's not the total length of the range, it's half the length of the range. So our range here went from negative two to zero, and the amplitude is half the length of this interval. So for us, it'll be one. I'll we'll cover that answer right there. Okay, period. Let's use the bottom point that I already circled, and I'm gonna use this bottom point. So if you think about what's in between, this is one full period right here. And how long does it take to go through the full period? We, my graph goes negative 180 to positive 180. So this period that I have highlighted with those two points is total. You can do n minus start. So the end is positive 180. The start was negative 180. And we subtract those two. We get minus a negative is plus 180. And that gives us 360. Now this is in, uh, well, we don't necessarily know it's in degrees, but it certainly feels like degrees. Uh, there are no units on here. So the way we're gonna answer this is period is 360. All right, last up was the equation. We can either go with the sine or cosine. I am gonna highlight this with a much bigger, let's do the yellow. So if this is the period we're thinking about, that's totally fine. If we're gonna use that period, I would go with the cosine function. Now normally cosine starts at the top, goes down and back up. So this is the opposite, so this would be a negative cosine. But let's get a little bit more clever. Let's start right here, and we're gonna go one period to the right. Now, one of the main reasons I'm starting here is because I already know that cosine starts at the top. I'll draw a quick cosine graph. This is the normal y equals cos x. And normally the period's two pi. I'm just gonna write p for a period right there. Uh, our period is 360. Good news is the graph that we already have starts at the upper point. Now, our graph here starts at the y coordinate of zero, so I can already see that there's a shift down one. And if I write the general transformation form, g of x equals a, I'm gonna use the cosine function here, a little a x minus h plus k. So let's think about what we have different in our graph. So I didn't even finish a full period. If I start the period at x equals zero, I'm gonna finish the period way over here on the right, and it's gonna come back up. And what x coordinate are we gonna stop at? Well, we already said the period is 360, so if I started at x coordinate zero, I'm gonna stop at x coordinate 360. That would be one full period. Now the period I have here, which I'll highlight again, this one period looks a lot like the cosine, regular cosine one period. All right, so our A, the big A is one. The K is the shift down one, which is definitely happening here. So our function starts at zero, goes down and ends at zero. So we have to do the shift down one. 
So that means k is negative 1. Let's write that, shift down 1, that means k is negative 1. There's no horizontal shift, so that means h is 0. Now in terms of the a, it depends on if you're in degrees or radians. So if we were in degree mode, this would be a normal period. It would be one full rotation to go from 0 to 360. So let's take this like it's in degree mode. So A is 1. You can just skip writing that. You could write 1 times cosine, or you can just skip that 1 times. So if we're in degree mode, that means that little a is going to be 1, meaning there's no horizontal stretch. So let's assume that right now. So our little a is 1. There's no horizontal shift, so it's just cos x. And then the plus k is plus negative 1 which is just minus one for us. And let's see right here, that is what they're looking for. So we are in degree mode. Oh, here it is, finally I see the units at the very end. There we go, that's how we know we're in degree mode. Okay, so I hope that helped answer this question for you.